hard to describe what really influences you because this is unconscious, but when I see Hopper's art, I also see myself. It's like a mirror where I can see part of myself. And for filmmakers, Tarantino serves the same, it has the same purpose. I can see myself in his art, but certainly in, 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 in Edward Hopper, um, there is that feeling of loneliness and, and the poetry. It's, because there's a tremendous poetry in Hopper's painting, and you don't find it always in other paintings. Even as a child, I always wanted to come to Paris. It represented the exotic, the opposite. Also, it was the land of culture, where art and ideas were respected in a way uh, that they were not in America. In America, there's only one word. There's only the culture of success. This was not true in Paris, and I think he must have felt very good when he came here, working in his own isolated way. He was very much a private commando. I think that when you're separated from your language, you lose a kind of courage. So I suspect that he did his greatest work while he was in New York. I think that those, those cities are not too different. The real difference is that Paris is more of a museum city, or as, as Hemingway said, Paris is a movable feast, and New York is not a feast at all. I think all art is art noir. You can't have a film without film noir because the film is much darker than we like to believe. So yes, I would certainly say that he made the peinture noir. It's always that wonderful sense of isolation and quiet despair because it's not people running around screaming and shouting. The sense of the city in isolation is so powerful for him as it is for my own work. Every time I go and look at uh, his work, I'm struck by the, the fact of how modern they are and how modern they are becoming. They are evolving as we evolve. He's one of those artists who become more and more contemporary in, in, in every sense of the word. And most art goes in the opposite direction.